Europe is home to many world-famous dishes. What's behind their success? And what makes them the real thing? Here are the secrets behind five European classics that you shouldn't miss during your trip to Europe. We're on the streets of Berlin on the hunt for a currywurst, our number five. Sausage and sauce. Nothing complicated here. The big question though, with or without the skin? Ich mag sowohl Currywurst mit als auch ohne Darm. Und ähm, die Currywurst mit Darm muss schön kross sein, aber nicht zu trocken. Die Currywurst ohne Darm muss immer noch sehr saftig sein, aber von außen schon schön angebraten, goldgelb. So much for the secret of the sausage. But what about the sauce? Ähm, also das Geheimnis an unserer Soße ist, es gibt ehrlich gesagt kein Geheimnis. Unsere Soße ist Tomatenketchup. Und ähm, er besteht aus 87% Tomaten, ein bisschen Zucker, ein bisschen Essig, ein bisschen Gewürze, das war's. Also es ist nicht so, dass wir die typische Berliner Currywurst machen oder jemand anderes die typische Berliner Currywurst macht, sondern jeder macht das, womit er Erfolg hat. Everything goes. The Currywurst is as diverse as Berlin itself. The secret is that there is no secret. Every shop has their own take. That puts it at number five on our list. Next up, Paella. And while it might look like you just grab some leftovers from the freezer and put them over rice, there's a lot more to Spain's national dish than you might think. Para hacer la auténtica paella valenciana se necesita primero la paella. We start with oil, chicken, and rabbit. Green beans, tomatoes, and garofone beans are a perfect topping. If you want, you can add snails or garlic, and saffron adds a bit more color. Finally, rice. The bomba variety is used for fluffiness. No existe una auténtica paella. Existen muchas auténticas paellas. Eh, realmente, lo que tiene que tener es coherencia. Un valenciano nunca mezcla los ingredientes del mar con los ingredientes de la tierra. La carne y el pescado en la misma paella, eso no existe en Valencia. Spanish paella is not to be missed on a trip to Europe. Our number four. Now we're off to France, where you can find the best baguettes in the world. Supposedly, every French person eats about half a baguette a day. But what is it that makes the baguette so popular? Le pain, il n'y a pas beaucoup d'ingrédients. La farine, il y a de l'eau, le sel et la levure. Ces quatre ingrédients-là paraissent simples au début, mais pour acheminer tout ça pour arriver à un bon pain à la fin, the most important ingredient is the sourdough, which is often many years old, developing its flavor over time. And the scoring on top isn't just a design choice. Voilà, là, ce qui est important là-dessus, ça va être la scarification. Donc, c'est avec cette petite lame-là qu'on vient inciser dans le pain, en fait, pour faire évacuer le gaz carbonique qui va être créé euh, par la levure et le levain. Voilà. Looks easy enough, but good luck trying this one at home. That's why it's best to try our number three directly in France. Bon Appetit! Next, we're off to Austria to try the legendary Wiener Schnitzel. It might look simple, but the original follows a strict recipe that might surprise you. A Wiener Schnitzel is ganz wichtig, wird immer vom Kalbsfleisch gemacht. Ne? Nicht vom Schwein, nicht von der Butte oder Gemüse. The Schnitzel is pounded until it's three to four millimeters thin. That keeps it nice and tender. On to the breading. First the veal goes into the flour, then into the eggs and is finally pressed lightly into the breadcrumbs. Then the breading can rise nicely later. We have Schweineschmalz, this is the classic. Then we have Butterschmalz, this makes a fine, butter Geschmack in the Kalbsfleisch. Or also Pflanzenfett, this is eher milder and neutraler. So you can choose it. My tip is Butterschmalz, this is perfect. Fry the schnitzel briefly, taking care to keep it moving in the pan. Then onto a paper towel to blot any excess fat. And you're done with this crispy classic, coming in at number two. Our top recommendation is actually a side dish for some, but not for the Belgians. For them, it's hard to beat a bunch of golden fries. Yeah, Quand on fait la fête, on mange des frites. Quand on, quand on a une nouvelle copine, on va manger des frites. Et puis quand on n'a plus la copine, on va quand même encore manger des frites. C'est un, un lieu où c'est bon. The secret to good fries is using the right potato. 
In Belgium, Bincha potatoes are most common. They're a particularly aromatic and crispy variety, fried twice in beef fat. Ah, pour moi, les frites, c'est, c'est je dirais, la, la quintessence de la belgitude. C'est quelque chose de très simple, et pourtant, chaque jour, je découvre quelque chose de nouveau. For some, a side dish. For others, a meal. But it's the love of fries that unites everyone. A must-try when visiting Belgium, and our top recommendation.